Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this beautiful login page. And I'm also going to provide all the images I'm using in this login page in the description of this video. You can just download and start designing. Okay, let's close this first. And if you are new to my YouTube channel and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one form to this. So right click, add and select form. Okay, it's taking a bit of time so I'm not personally changing name. I'm just going to click on add. And first thing what I want is I want to actually change the startup page. So let me change this one to form 2 so that when I start this form goes the new one okay just save it and close this okay so first thing what we have to do is we have to actually remove the, this border from this form so how to do that so that's just right click go to properties let me maximize this a little bit and after this what you have to do is you have to just search for form border style here you can see this change this one to none here you can observe this after this let me copy the size of this one this Form from here, so I'm going to just right click on them, paste to the borders, and there I have to search for the size. Size is 733, 449. So copy this, right click, go to the borders, paste it, and hit enter. Here you can see this. After this, here you can observe this is a quite looking a very nice. This is the orange color. So this is actually the image which I'm using, and I'm using this one inside picture box and I'm using this Guna 2 circle picture box so if you don't have this Guna 2 circle picture box in your toolbox not to worry about that actually I have added one DLL file into my toolbox that's why you can see this stuff with the name Guna here you can see this. let me just show you now all the stuff is Guna stuff okay so these are quite nice interface you can use this so I have already provided it the link in the description for the Guna 2 DLL file download and I have also provided one video link in the description how to add this Guna DLL file into your toolbox and after that you can use this this is a quite small video not to worry that much one to two or five minutes max video okay so I'm going to use Guna 2 picture okay this picture box so I'm this one Guna 2 circle picture box just drag and drop it over here and after this what I have to do is just click on this click on this one that is the image click local resource then click on import after this what we have to do is we have to just select the image whatever we have to actually add inside this one so I'm going to select this one location not this one actually check that what we have to do is actually my file is in different format so I have to select all files and when I do that here you can find this one. So initially I have tried with this image but this image is not that much nice so I have gone with this one. This is a rectangle shape but we are using a Guna 2 circle picture box so this is going to convert this square rectangle image into a circle here you can observe this. Okay. After this what we have to do is let me just click on this and what we have to do is we have to just make this one stretch mode to stretch mode, tight mode to stretch mode. After this let me just copy the size of this one from this picture box. Click on this and let me copy the size 531 comma 723. So copy. Click on this, right click and go to properties and let me set the size for this one. Hit enter. Here you can see this. After this, you have to place this one in such a way that it looks nice like this. Here you can see that. Yeah. Either you can place it like this or even this also looks better. So it depends on you and which way you want to place this one. So I'm going to place this one like this because this one is looking better. After this, what we have to do is we have to add one more picture box over here. So I'm going to add simple picture box just drag and drop it over here and click on this choose image local resource and hold I'm going to use this one so you can use any image or you can download and use this stretch after this what we have to do is stretch this one a little bit 
and after this we have to add new text boxes and new labels let me just check that so here i have added one label two text boxes and one check box one button and few more labels so let me do that for that first thing what i need is one level so just drag and drop from the two box and change the level name to let me copy the text login with value credentials just click on this, go to the bonus, change the text, login with valid credentials and you can also increase the font for this one, change the font to a little bit larger so that it look nice. So I click on that and 9, 10 if you want but 9 is better. So I place this like this. After this, I need to do text box. So I'm going to search for text box and I'm not going to use the default text box which all of you have. I hope you have added this Puna 2 PLL file. So I'm going to use this Puna 2 PLL file text box. And of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the stuff for this text box. So first thing, okay, so actually I have done one mistake that I haven't changed the background color for this form. So for that, I'm going to change that. Back color change this one to custom and white. Yeah, this one is looking better. After this, I have to paint this text box. Two properties of this text box. Here you can see this the text box is looking quite nice and the color is also faded and has some written inside this one. So I'm going to do all of these here now. The first thing what I have to do is I have to increase the font of this text box. So let me do that. Search for font, click on this and change the font to 10 or 11 okay here you can see this the text box size is also increased but i don't want that so i'm going to decrease the size of this one yeah, i have did that after this what i want is i want a circular a so how to do that for that just click on this go to properties and there you have to search for radius border radius i guess yeah let me search for that That. Yeah, here we find this border radius change this one to 22. Hit enter, and here you can see this we have this circular type age and make this one a little bit large. Here you can see this. Now the age is now quite looking better. After this, what we have to do is we have to set the color, the fill color. So we have to change that. So let me select the color code from here. So back and change the spill color white smoke so i'm going to copy this move back over here change this one to white smoke you can manually write it or you can just select like that and here you can this this one is looking better just copy and paste it once again to replicate and paste like this and put this one a little bit down after this what we have to do is we have to set the text inside this one how to do that just click on this you can directly write something whatever you want inside this one placeholder text or you can just right click and go to properties and search for placeholder text inside this one here you can find this and what i have written in this one i just forgot email address and your password just click on this and email and in this one i'm going to write password If you want to make the whole changes inside the text box, you can do that. You can set the image inside this one so that it looks much better than this one. You can do that. Okay, not to worry about that. Okay, after this, what we have to do is we have to add one button, one more button that is login button and one checkbox. So I'm going to add first checkbox. Just drag and drop this one, or you can use this one or two checkbox. Okay, so I have have it checkbox for now okay okay so i'm not going to use that i'm going to use this one and what i have to set is keep me sign in just click on this and change the text hit enter this one is looking better okay after this what we have to do is we have to add one button so i'm going to choose 
one, two, picture box button, picture button, let me search that, custom, where it is, let me, image button, this one, we have to use this one, just drag and drop it over here, and what we have to do is, we have to just, click on this, click the image, local resources, click on import and use this one and ok, yeah, here you can see this, this one is looking better but the size is quite small, so let me copy the size of this one size is 244, click on this change the size and here you can observe the image is not looking that much nice and not stretched so how to do that so that just click on this image size and set the size to after this what we have to do is what i want is when i click on that login button the image needs to be enlarged and red so how to do that here you can see this when i start this and i guess we not just going to do with this don't worry, I'm going to resolve this. Okay. This is taking a little bit of time, not to worry about that. So you can see this. Yeah. This is not what we expected. When I hover over this, this one is string, and when I remove, yeah, this one gets hard. What I want is the image needs to be in the same format like that now. When I hover, nothing happens. When I click, it just blink for a second. Okay, and one more thing that when this starts, it starts needs to be in the center. So for that, just click on this, change the start position to center the screen. After this, just click on this and to change the image on the hover screen, just change this one. Image size, just click enter. And here, what we have to do is we have to set the image again for this one. When I want to press, just click on this, click on import, use the same image. Click on this OK, copy the size to 14, 54, paste it over here and what I want to do is just change this one to 24 and hit enter. After this when you start this and now you can observe this is in the center and when I hover, yeah actually this one is working well. Okay, let me do that, fix this too. You have to just click on this, indicate focus, and just click on this and start. And now you can see when I click on this, yeah, it's quite enlarged a little bit. And when you hover, nothing happens. Yeah, this one is looking better now. After this, we have to add few more labels over here and few more labels over here. So let me do that. Just copy this label and paste it and new user register here just click on this change the text new user and after this what we have to do is we have to need one more label and change the text for this one to here and enter and let me just drag one label that is the link label drag and drop it over here like this and change the text register and change the color for this one from blue to red this one is pink color just change this one to red yeah. and please this in the better position move back like this remove these all stuff like this and just change we need to put one question mark over here so that these look nice yeah here we go so you can see this now this one is looking better and our designing is ready now we have to add a few more labels over here so i'm going to copy these and paste it over here so what i have did with these labels are just copy this label click on this okay let me show you quickly copy this paste it over here and what i have did is change the text we take days and i have changed the fill color 
that is the back color change this one to custom and change this one to orange so you can see this and i have changed the text color that is the four color so for that four color change this one to white and i have increased the font that's it what i have did with this label and when you start this our is interface is ready now you can back it for for this in the any way you like and if you don't know how to back and code for this use a control that is the odd login page i've already put the videos for that just go and check out and please subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching